automatic visa extensions are they a gift a lifeline for migrants or actually a goodbye gift for migrants on essential skills work visas in this video we are going to talk about this in detail on 20th of december 2020 immigration minister chris fafoi announced an automatic extension for migrants who are on any employer assisted visas this means that if you are on an essential skills work visa and your visa is going to expire before 30th of june 2021 your visa will be automatically extended for another six months great good news but wait is it actually a good news we are going to talk about three reasons why this news is actually not as good as it sounds. Number one, Kiwis returning home. According to a recent survey done by KIA, which is Kiwi Experts Abroad. This organization has done a survey which reveals that, that a large number of New Zealanders are thinking of coming back to their home. Sweet home New Zealand. One news has also reported in a recent article inspired from this survey that up to a half a million New Zealanders may choose to come back to New Zealand. And now let's look at some of the facts. As per government, there are around 83,000 migrants who are on employer-assisted work visas and who will be affected by these visa extensions. Now let's look at the global numbers. If there are going to be half a million New Zealanders returning home, will that have an impact on the local labour market of New Zealand? Will these New Zealanders replace some or most of these jobs which currently migrants are filling? After all, comment is very clear temporary visas are only meeting a temporary need of the country there is no amnesty there is no clear pathway which government has announced for anybody who's on a temporary work visa if they do not have a job they must leave new zealand and go back to their own homes how sad would it be for somebody who has a dream to make new zealand their new home and they are desperate to retain their jobs while they are desperate, their employers have an additional obligation. Obligation to recruit or train a suitable New Zealander for their position. Number two, these extensions are aimed at helping New Zealand employers and not the migrants. Migrants are benefiting in the fact that they don't have to apply for their visa right now. But should they be considering this extension or should they be actually applying for their visa right now at this moment when they can under the current rules? In the new policy, the process is going to be quite different from what it is now. The process is going to be employer-led. Number one, they have already been through immigration system and has become an accredited employer. Number two, if the job has passed the job gate, which means the job will be determined by Immigration New Zealand and by work and income, which will decide whether this job can be offered to a migrant or not. For this purpose, work and income has already launched two lists, labor under supply list and labor over supply list. And right now, even in the current policy, these lists are playing an important role. And this means that if you are considering to apply for your visa after utilizing this extension, things may not be same the way they are right now. Number three, Immigration New Zealand has also announced that from mid-2021, they are going to update their version of median wage for visa applications, which is currently $25.50 per hour. It is going to be raised to $27 per hour. So now, if you are considering to apply for a visa, and if you are getting paid $25.50 per hour now, if you utilize this extension, you may not be able to apply for a visa under the new policy 
the details for which are not yet announced. Now the question is, should you use this extension or apply for your work visa right now? My answer to this question is, if you are getting paid $25.50 per hour right now, apply for your visa immediately. If you apply for your visa right now, chances are that you may get a three-year work visa. This will give sufficient time to you and your employer to plan for your further immigration journey. However, if your salary is less than $25.50 per hour and your employer is not in a position to offer higher salary, and there could be many factors for that, it may be that the occupation you are employed in, the market rate is not as high. Now, an employer cannot just offer you a higher salary because they want to retain you, whereas the market rate is a lot lower. What are your options? My advice is to plan now, to act now, if you need to upskill, if you need to retrain, if you need to start studying again, or perhaps go back to your home country. What are your options? What is your career pathway going to look like? This is the time to plan. If you need your personalized career plan, make sure that you meet one of our immigration advisors or a career mentor and make a plan which will work and deliver results for you.